Today we're gonna review a new tarantula dealer. They're called the Spider Shop. Now they're not really new, they're just new to me. This is the first time I've ever received a package from them. So let's check them out. Welcome to Tarantula Collective. My name is Richard, and if you enjoy videos about tarantulas, scorpions, or any invertebrate or exotic pet, make sure you hit that subscribe button to help spread the word about the channel. Now, recently I received an email from a company called The Spider Shop, and they asked if I would be interested in doing an honest review of their business. They offered to send me some cool tarantula species in the mail in exchange for making a video and kind of reviewing their shipping and their spiders and just helping get the word out about their business. I just received a box in the mail, and I'm really excited to open it up, see what they sent, and they also to send me this cool shirt. All right, let's get this box open and, and just get into it. All right, I got my trusty knife handy. Let's see what all they sent. All right, we got some nice stickers, a little card, some more stickers. Oh, that's a magnet and a ruler. Interesting. So far, it looks very nice. Sticking with the uh, the color theme of their logo. Got yellow tissue paper. All right, we got one tarantula. Two. Th wow, that's a big one. There's four. So we got four tarantulas. So we'll start with the large one. This is a, oh man, they're so difficult. Firmus whitey, okay. Pamphibetus species solaris. I've always wanted one of these. I'm very excited about that. Theraphosinae species panama, one of my favorites. Uh oh, and a T. celadonia. <laughs> awesome, I can't wait to see this. So I think I've got everything ready, so let's go ahead and get these tarantulas moved in. And we'll start off with the Theraphosinae species Panama. Got a nice little enclosure here for it. A Little bit of substrate. This is just a mix of reptosoil and the creature soil. Maybe a little jungle mix in there. And they do like to web up a little bit, so I'm gonna put in some vertical pieces of cork bark. Sphagnum moss. Missed it down a little bit. Let's see what we have. Not too bad, good size. Packed really well. Plenty of room in there. The paper towel is still a little damp, which is always good. Such a beautiful species. And let's get it in its enclosure. Probably a little too big for it. I could have definitely used one of these smaller ones, but it'll grow into it pretty soon. But I am gonna use this enclosure for the T. celadonia. Add a bunch of sphagnum moss. And we'll definitely miss this down a little bit as well. Now let's check out this beauty. Oh, wow. Two down and only two more to go. So this is gonna be the Pamphibetus species Solaris. It's a gorgeous tarantula. I love Pamphibetus species, but in particular, this species, it's, it's gonna be awesome. So we'll give it a hide. So sphagnum moss. All right, now let's see what it looks like. 
Should have some pretty good size on it. Oh, wow, yeah. That is a big tarantula. Ooh, look at that leggy boy. This enclosure might be a little big for it right now, but this species definitely grows a lot with each molt, so in no time I'll have to be putting it in an even larger enclosure. And I've got a water dish over in the next room. I will put that in there before I set this one on the shelf. All right, and the last one. This is the P. Whitey. And for this, I've got to do something a little bit different because this is not a tarantula. This is actually a uh, tailless whip scorpion or am, well, what do they call those? Ampig amphibolies, amphiboli? Alexa, what's the scientific name for a tailless whip scorpion? Sorry, I don't know that one. Alexa, what is a tailless whip scorpion? Hmm, I don't have an answer for that. But I've got this arboreal enclosure. It actually was right behind me over here. I've cleaned it out and we're gonna set it up in there because you know they really have a long kind of leg span. They really stick those front legs that have been modified into antenna you know, pretty far out. So, you know, it's like four or five times the size of their actual body. And for tailless whip scorpions, I really like to give them the largest enclosure possible so they have plenty of room to kind of explore and feel around. All right, so we've got this. This is an Exoterra, I believe it's a like 12 by 12 by 18. Now these can cost you probably like, I don't know, maybe $150, $200 if you're buying them from a pet store. This one I got for like 40 or 50 bucks from some guy off Craigslist and they've like blackened the size. They put some kind of contact paper on there. So it's gonna be perfect for this species cause they do, they're very secretive. They like nice, dark, kind of damp places. So I think this is gonna be a perfect enclosure for them. All right, let's open this one up. I was worried it wasn't alive, but it's definitely alive. All right, let's get it moved inside. So everyone arrived healthy and happy. The shipping was great. They used the right shipping, which is FedEx priority overnight. Insulated box, nicely packed. I mean, beautiful specimens. Definitely should go check out their website. I'll leave a link for them down below in the description with a discount code as well. And give them a try. It's awesome that there are so many tarantula dealers available online now. I'm definitely gonna be going back to their website, seeing what they have in stock and maybe get some more tarantulas again in the future. So a huge thanks to Spider Shop for sending these amazing species. And stay tuned to this channel Make sure you're subscribed if you want updates on how these tarantulas are doing moving forward. Definitely be doing a lot of update videos on them because they're freaking awesome. If you enjoyed this video and you want to keep watching some more unboxing videos, just click this playlist right here. And if you missed my latest video, I'll link that right there. As always, I appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for buying Tarantula Collective merchandise, and I will see you next Tuesday. <laughs>